With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Touching a hemisphere dome of uh, radius r, there is a vertical tower of uh, height 4r. A ball, a boy project a ball horizontally with speed u from a tower. The ball strikes the dome at a height r by 2 from the ground and rebound. After rebounding, the ball retreats back its path into the hand of the boy. Then find the value of u. So if you see it strikes at a height of r by 2. Right. Uh, so if, if you see this distance, it is r by 2. And you can see very clearly that this distance is r. Is, is the, this distance is r and this distance is r by 2, you can get this theta at which it, it will strikes, right? And certainly it will strikes at an angle so that uh, it retrace its path. So it will be striking along the normal, right? Because the retrace of path is only possible when it will strikes normally and it, uh, it will be an elastic collision. So if I write down r by 2 is equals to r cos theta, so from here you will get the theta is equals to, if you see this is r by 2, so it will be 60 degree. So basically the particle should so, so strikes at an angle 60 degree with the vertical, right? So if I say this angle is vert, uh, with the vertical, it is making an angle 60 degree. And uh, this u will remain constant, right? So if you see this angle is 60, then this will be 30. And let's say this is v0. So, here the horizontal component will always remain constant. So, I will write down V0 is equals to, it will be if you see U by cos 30, right? We could see here, since V0 cos 30 is U. Now, if you see here, how much it traveled? If you see this whole height is 4R. This whole height is 4R. Out of this 4R, you removed R by 2. So, this uh, 8R minus R by 2, it is uh, 8R by 2 minus R by 2, it is 7R by 2. It traveled this much. So, after traveling this much, what will be the vertical velocity? You can get that by writing the third equation of motion, that is this. Since there is, if you see, since there is no initial velocity in y direction, right? So, you can see it traveled uh, this uh, 7r by 2 distance. So, I will write down vr is equals to 2g 7r by 2 under root. So, this 2 and 2 will get cancelled out and you will get under root this. Now, if you see here. Again, you can write down this, uh, this angle is 60, right? So, you will write down V0 cos 60 is equals to Vy, right? Uh, we want the V0, right? So, I will write down equation 1 by equation 2. So, it will be equation 1 by equation 2, it will be cos 30 by sin 30, right? Uh, cos 30 by cos 60 is sin 30 only is equals to u by vy is this. So, we know that uh, this is tan 30, tan 30 is 1 upon tan 30 is this, this is 1 upon tan 30. So, from here we can write down and this is the answer of this question. Now, you can check for the option. So here B is the correct one. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.